Hey everyone, it's Handmade Channel. In this video, I'm going to break this car. It's a BMW M3 E46, completely made from modeling clay, special sculpting clay, and colored modeling clay for kids. As you might have already guessed, it's the BMW from The Need for Speed. Well, that's how it looks. Over time, the back of the car has already shrunk, since it's quite warm in the room. And because of the heat, the plasticine gets soft. So that's why the car has already shrunk a little. I'll fix it soon. All right, here is the clay. I took the hood off, and look, I can easily bend it. As you may see, it's all made from plasticine. Right now, I'm going to fix it and put it back. Here is the engine itself in the BMW. I detailed it quite well. The engine here is V8 at 493 horsepower. As you might have noticed, there is an infinity at the back. This is the QX56 model. It's a remote-controlled car. It's going to crash into this BMW at speed, but for this, I need to check the car itself. Well, I've taken out the remote control, but I've forgotten to install the battery just a second. Let's go. I stuck such a block of plasticine to infinity so that the dents would be more even. Well, here we go. There is absolutely no damage. It scratched the front bumper a little and that's it. I thought the scrap would be stronger. On the Infinity's bumper, there is a little scratch too. Let's try it again. The second bump also damaged the bumper. The hit was quite weak, the speed wasn't high, and plasticine is too thick. I also touched the front fender a little, and that's it. But on the Infinity, there's nothing, but just a little scratch. I'll try to speed up and let's see what happens. This time the blow has been stronger. I've sped up and crashed into it. The bumper's bent more. You can see that it has become a little bent. Basically, the bumpers got bent and that's it. But the hood remains intact. The back part didn't bend due to bumps. It's completely intact. Let's try it again. Damn, it's not that easy to drive this car. It constantly drives to the sides a lot and it slides across the floor. The Infinity is constantly pulled to the left. Only this side is damaged, although the bumper got quite pretty smashed. I wanted to hit the driver's door, but failed. Well, let's see what we've got. It seems that the BMW mirror stuck to plasticine on infinity. The front wheel arch has bent quite a bit, and the bumper has also been slightly touched. I'm going to crash into the back of the car. Oh, I should fix the trunk. I'll try to direct the infinity straight into the number plate and see what happens. We've crashed into the rear bumper, the trunk has fallen off, the bumper got smashed, and it's become pretty noticeable. The roof of the BMW is already starting to crack, getting unstable. You can see how the roof is already shrunk because of the heat in the room. 
It makes little sense to use the Infinity. It's slow, and you can't completely break the BMW made from the clay. So I decided to just drop this BMW from a height of about 2 meters to the floor. It should turn out to be not less spectacular. I want to check it out, so let's try it. Well, it's fallen quite well. Look what heavy damage it's done to the steel. The hood flew off and the body almost completely got smashed. Even the wheel got crushed. The roof has come off the fasteners. It's very weak. From underneath, you can see how heavy the damage was. Now I will drop it again, but on the back side. What is it? It is completely destroyed. I'm afraid that it can't be fixed. That's savage. The car itself is heavy, but I didn't connect it tightly and it came apart at the seams. It hurts to look at. I made the BMW and it broke so easily. Yes, here the door is already open, the roof has fallen off. Well, the whole car got bent, the back part became just flat as if someone ironed it. I don't even know how I'll fix it, but I'll try. Well, I think it's time to wrap up this video. I hope you guys like this video and it's been interesting to watch. Subscribe to my channel, hit the like button. I have a lot of videos like this and the quality of the cars will be getting better. Bye everyone.